Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing set 75903, the Honda Lighthouse from the Scooby Doo theme, uh, Lego, uh, 437 pieces, ages 6 to 12. Um, got five minifigures here, a nice uh, play set, and a couple action figures. So here's what it looks on the side, and then the back. A lot of stuff with it so yeah I'm gonna speed build it and then uh, it, it'll probably take uh, you know a couple hours maybe two so I might not get it done tonight but I'll definitely get it done by tomorrow so it might be a different time of day different clothes but yeah for the most part it's gonna be pretty fun So, as you can see here, I have completed the set. Um, took me, um, didn't take too long. I would say, what, an hour? Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, pretty cool set. You got a skull there with the golden tooth, swamp monster, white housekeeper, Daphne's in there. You go up and there's a little fire piece and some stickers and the roof. There's also the boat with Scooby and Shaggy. It's the first time we've had a, a normal sitting down Scooby, like with normal, um, with a normal face rather than goggles for the airplane set. Um, it's pretty normal, cause some stickers, sticker there. Um, jet boat, nice design on the back with the engine and the propeller and a nice little water ski feature with uh, Shaggy holding the hamburger. Um, what's really cool about this Shaggy is he has a nice torso print there. Um, nice on the back. Brand new for the set. <laughs> but um, his face and everything else is the exact same. Um, Scooby, I think he has the same face as... Um, the one that stands up, I think, in the first set, the mummy set. Um, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we've got here the swamp monster. But actually, you take the helmet off, and it's actually just this dude in a monocle. So, yeah, he looks pretty scary. But, uh,. Yeah, looks pretty cool. Um, next we have the light keeper. He glows in the dark, his head. Um, his hands might too, but I'm pretty sure just his head. And dressed up as a guy. Actually, it's a girl, like a scientist or something, so. Yeah, it's pretty cool to see um, the different um, faces because uh, you see that. All right, well, first, all right, I just built, I built the base. That was the that was a lot of the main part of the build. Number one, there is a tab right there. So what I do is you pull it. See, there's a little sticker there telling you to pull it this way. So I pull it. Turn it, it reveals a little chest, a little storage box in there. We'll get to that. Um, nice little lamppost here, some um, you know, foliage and rock melt. Um, and then you can open this up, and the gang eventually finds a map. And it says X marks the spot with the Donald Toll House, and they go. Through the land, 
north, south, east, west on the water. So, yeah, it looks pretty cool. So you get a map piece for each set and uh, each piece is uh, pretty cool. So next, you can open this door um, to get to the inside. So these nice stairs here keep out, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna close this back up here. You can do it with your hand too. So what we've got is uh, just a bunch of stuff. We've got crowbar, breathing tank, and flippers. Because these are just humans, they're not actual monsters, so they need their gear to steal stuff and um, have a seek like a scary hideout. Um, there's this nice torch here, and then there's the stove. Like I said, it's a nice little uh, pan. And then this is the pretty cool area section. It's just like a little hiding hole. And you open this up, and out come some gems and a chalice. So it's pretty cool how they've acquired that, you know. So put back in there, and this this can just fit right back in there. You just gotta place it there. Cool. So yeah, you've seen the stove. And then this uh, spider web, pretty cool spider web. And you can lift it up to reveal the jail cell. It's also really cool. It shows like the the days Daphne's been there. So she's been there 12 days. So it's pretty sad. But um, here's the Daphne minifigure for the first time um, that we've seen her. She appears in the big set, the next big set um, after this, which is the big set, the $100 set. But, um, she's pretty cool to get, um, as an exclusive figure. The last one we got was Fred, and unfortunately Fred does not come in the Mystery Mansion set, so that Mystery Machine is really important. But every set so far has come with a, a Shaggy and a Scooby, which is, uh, kind of funny, but, um, that's how they get the majority of their characters, um, from each. But each time... Either one or the other is, uh, is, is, you know, different, so that's always a good thing to have to be different from the rest. So, um, you can also open the jail cell. She can get out. There should have been a lock on that, but, you know, whatever. Pretty cool. And then, um, put some stickers here. Nice little, little fire in there clips with fire. And then what I really call it is this like big lawny bendy piece. And then you can lift it up like this. It uh, just goes off to the side and it reveals a key and a bone. Probably one so that Gaffney could get out. A bone is just there to show that it's old. So it's a pretty nice little feature there. Some foliage on the side. Um, yeah, this rock formation is pretty cool. You can angle the, angle the eyebrows to make them look sad or angry. I like the angry. And I like the nose piece, too. It's kind of cool how they do that. And yeah, forward to the side. We saw the knob. Nice staircase there. And, uh, that's the post map. More foliage here. And that, that about does it. I mean, these, this is a pretty cool set. I can't wait to review the big set of it all. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.